Hey, Melanie Beckler here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a reliable technique to learn your guardian angel's name. So before we dive in, have you had an experience of your guardian angel? Comment below and let me know so I'll know where you are for further videos, but don't worry too much about what your answer is, because either way, this will work for you if you take the time to tune in and to connect and to receive the name of your guardian angel. So here's how this works. Yes, you absolutely have a guardian angel who is with you, watching over you, guiding you and protecting you, but they exist in an octave, a dimension above your normal logical mind. So it's important to elevate your consciousness in order to tune in to the angelic realm where your guardian angel can then step forward to connect with you with incredible love, healing frequency, guidance, and they can give you their name. So here's how this works. You need to find a quiet, comfortable place where you can detach from the physical world and go within. It helps to sit up straight, relax your body, relax your mind, and shift your awareness within. And then start by setting your intention. I call upon my guardian angel, please come in and connect with me now. Surround me with light and angelic energy and assist me in tuning into your love and presence. After you say that invocation, or a version of it that feels right for you, those words aren't magic, you don't have to use my exact words, just call in your guardian angel and then begin to relax. Really relax your mind, finding the space between your thoughts, diving inward, going inward, letting go of the external, letting go of whatever is happening in your life just for now and entering inward. And then focus on your heart center, allowing your heart to fill with golden light and angelic energy, allowing your heart to open and enter deep into your heart, deeper and deeper into your heart center. And as you go deep within, you'll reach a point where your heart center activates and the energy then begins to expand outward. And when that happens, allow the energy to naturally rise up, up the column at the center of your being, your ascension column, your central column, your divine I am presence. Let your awareness rise upward into your mind's eye, in the very center of your head, where you have a natural opening that's called the Cave of Christos. Enter into that space, letting your mind fill with golden light and angelic energy, allowing your guardian angel to warm your thoughts, to assist you in being still, present, relaxed, and go deep into the center, at the center of your mind, deeper and deeper within, until you reach a point in which this center, your mind's eye activates and begins to expand outward. Allow yourself to relax, to not try to grasp for seeing your guardian angel, to not try to grasp for receiving their name. Just relax and be present and allow your energy now to rise up up out the crown chakra at the top of your head and up in that pillar of light, that ascension column into the light, going up above your head until you notice another energy center above your head. This is sometimes called your soul star chakra. It's the first chakra of your higher angelic energy centers. And so let your awareness rise up until you tune in to the warmth and light of this angelic chakra. It may feel like a platform that you can rest your awareness within. It may feel like warmth, glowing, tingling, whatever you feel above your head and wherever exactly you feel it because it's variable, tune into it. Let the light and warmth and angelic energy of this center surround you and let yourself deeply enter into it going deeper and deeper into this angelic center until it activates and begins to expand outward. At which point, just allow yourself to bask and receive 
the blessings of love, of frequency, of healing from the angelic realm and from your guardian angel. This is also the center in which you're able to access your higher self. Really relax, tune into the energy. At this point, you wanna be feeling the glowing and warmth and tingling of angelic energy. That's an indication that you're there. You're in the right place and you're ready to communicate with your guardian angel. Your guardian angel may naturally step forward or you may simply need to ask, guardian angel, connect with me now. Do you have a message for me? And I recommend starting by asking them for a message rather than their name. Ask for their guidance to get a feel of what their voice sounds like, of how you can receive their wisdom and love, their blessing, their support, their validation. At this point, it might bring you to tears because it's so beautiful when you really connect with your guardian angel. Receive their message, receive their love, the incredible guidance and frequency they are so ready to bestow upon you. And then when, when you're ready, ask, guardian angel, what is your name? Keep your awareness focused in that angelic center above your head allowing yourself to deeply enter into it, into your soul star chakra, into your center of angelic communication so that you bask in the angelic energy and receive the guidance, the visuals, the feeling, the name of your guardian angel. I recommend you detach, let go of needing to know your guardian angel's name and just be open to receiving it. Let it be okay whether you receive it or not. Let your goal be to connect with your guardian angel. And when you do, something really beautiful and profound and loving and supportive awaits. And you have this ability to directly connect, to tune in to the guidance from your guardian angel who is reaching out to you, wanting to support you and in stepping into more of your divine truth accomplishing your mission, living your most vibrant and most radiant light. And so tune in to that higher angelic energy. And when you're finished getting your guardian angel's name, getting guidance, give yourself a moment to just tune into the angelic energy all around you, the presence of your guardian angel around you, hugging you, with their wings, wrapping you with their angelic frequency, loving you exactly as you are now, but supporting you in rising up into the next embodiment of who you can be, of who you really are in your truth as a divine light being incarnate in physical form. So give this a try. I highly recommend this process because quite simply, it works in receiving the love and guidance of your guardian angel and tuning into their name. So be sure to comment below and let me know if you like this, if you like getting practices like this for you to do on your own time. If you would like a meditation guiding you through this process, I do actually have a new channeled meditation with Archangel Michael, a guardian angel meditation that really guides you through this process and then gives you the space to tune in to the guidance and message of your guardian angel. I will put a link in the description below if you would like to get that guardian angel meditation, but really just tune in. It's a great opportunity to do this early in the morning or in the evening when you can really be relaxed and still and let go and enter in and tune in to the love and angelic energy that will show up for you, that is here for you. It's just up to you to elevate your vibration, get your attention and awareness up in that higher angelic energy center and where attention goes, energy flows, and your energy will enter into it, and your guardian angel will step forward to meet you. All right, comment below and let me know if you liked this video. If you've not subscribed here on YouTube already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and then I will see you in the next video. I thank you, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.